Hi, I'm Heather with Heather Lang Homes. As shared last month, we are seeing some cooling in the housing market compared to the first half of this year. So let's dive in and take a look at our single family stats, uh, home stats for the month of July for homes here in Santa Clara County. Active homes went up by 3% in June with 1,068 homes available in all of Santa Clara County. That's again for single family homes. Pending sales went down by 6% and sold sales went down by 2%. Days on market increased by one day from June, now taking an average of 16 days to get into market or get into contract. The average sale price went down by 4% from June, now resting just over $2,288,000. The average price per square foot went down by 2%, now resting at $1,177 per square foot. And we also see the list to sale price ratio went down by 2% from June. Now seeing homes sell at an average of just 5% over the listed offer price. Months worth of inventory rose by 8%, yet this still translates into less than one and a half months worth of inventory. Homes may be staying on market a little bit longer, uh, but we're still nowhere near what it would be considered a buyer's market with such low overall inventory. Remember, we typically need to see six months worth of inventory for it to be considered a buyer's market. While more housing inventory came to market in July, buyer demand continued to slow as it did in June. With vacation season still in full swing, there tends to be less competition during these months and with more inventory uh, from which buyers can choose from. This, gives, uh, this gave buyers uh, a little bit more reprieve from that frenzied market that we saw at the start of the year. And although June and July uh, housing markets experience this lull, experts are not linking this to any expected market uh, crash or housing market crash to come. High interest rates have been dampening buyers' purchase power, in addition to increased challenges for obtaining homeowners insurance for properties that are located in high-risk locations. Also, with upcoming balcony compliance expect, uh, inspections needed at the start of January 2025, buyers that are currently purchasing within condom, condominium complexes may run into issues if the HOA is not in compliance with those balcony, um, uh, balcony inspection deadlines. And this can present challenges uh, that affect insurance policies and then in turn, uh, in turn affect the uh, lendability issues that are needed for buyers to then get those loans for those purchases in those complexes. All of these variables may be contributors to the softening summer housing market. In addition, the labor, the recent labor report that was shared, shared that the job creations slowed sharply in July, sparking concern that the Fed has waited too long before reducing the prime rate to avoid a recession. The Fed continued its message and intent to wait until September before making the long anticipated prime rate reduction. And there's now a decent chance that the prime rate will be cut by half a point rather than the quarter of a point uh, if new job creation numbers continue to wane. The Fed insists that it is watching closely and working to time the prime rate reduction to, to accomplish a soft landing and avoid a recession while uh, working to keep inflation under control. Mortgage rates in July ended lower at the end of June, resting closer to 6.86% for a 30-year conforming fixed rate. Watching mortgage rates throughout the month of August will be interesting and key for buyers who want to avoid competing for their home, uh, for their home purchase. 
it's typical for the mortgage industry to reduce their rates in anticipation of an expected prime rate cut rather than as a reaction after the prime has been reduced. And we've already begun seeing rates ease as this result, as the result of this recent Fed news. And we'll potentially see this trend continue as we move through and toward, through August and toward September. It's all the more important for buyers to connect with professional advisors who are currently working in this housing market to ensure that they get good advice from realtors and lenders uh, when strategically writing those strong offers uh, to win your dream home. Buyers and sellers who are ready to make their move will get best results with strategic planning and good professional advice. This August also presents a significant change to the national and state multiple listing service marketplace. In addition to new compliance paperwork that's needed between real estate professionals and their clients for more clearly defined agreements regarding compensation. Sellers, seller and buyer broker compensation agreements have always been negotiable and will continue to remain. Although with the significant change, uh, with this significant change that's coming is on how this information is shared in the marketplace. And it'll be important for both sellers and buyers to have a clear understanding from well-educated professionals who are well-versed in the required compliance changes being implemented this month. If you'd like to learn more about these changes or if you're ready to make uh, and discuss uh, your next steps for your move, whether you are a seller or a buyer, reach out to me. I'm Heather at heatherlanghomes.com. You can reach me at 408-207-3130. And we'll discuss best strategies and steps for your situation. And you can count on my diligent and strategic advice so that we can work together to reach your real estate goals. In the meantime, I hope you have a great uh, rest of your August. Enjoy the rest of the, this summer as we move into the fall and I'll be here in September to review our August stats. I'm Heather with Heather Lang Homes. Have a great start to your week.